Tunes, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do some 1v2s, 1v3s, 1v4s. I do them a lot in my videos, and you seem to really enjoy them, so I figured, you know, why not teach you how to do it? Uh, but overall, they are my favorite thing to do, and wow, I really have a lot of fun is killing like a bunch of players by yourself. You feel really awesome, you, you look like a pro, there's no, really no downside to it at all. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to do it, and the main thing that you have to know about it is that it's actually mostly priorities, and there's a lot to go into what you have to prioritize, and it's really for you to decide mainly, but I'm going to tell you what I decide on my priorities, and then I execute on my priorities. So uh, the main priority is that I go for healers. I like going for what is makes the most sense, because if you go for healers first, and then you go for DPS afterwards, um, that makes more sense as opposed to going for DPS than healers, because one, if you kill a DPS, then try and kill a healer, it just looks boring for a video. And two, um, if I kill the healer, then the DPS doesn't have any more heals, and I don't have to worry about him getting randomly healed the full, because that's how Mr. Pandaria works, you just randomly get to heal the full. Um, I would rather kill a healer and keep him suppressed, and CC the DPS, and then kill the DPS afterwards. That's, that's way more fun. So I kill healers, and then I CC the DPS at the same time, which is a huge thing you have to be able to do, is you have to be able to control with polymorphs. I mean, as I'm a mage, you may not be a mage, but, um, you know, I control the DPS with polymorph, Ring of Frost, Frost Nova, Code of Cold, and I also kite them effectively. So. I have blazing speed, I'll usually use blazing speed to get away, I'll be running, uh, if I don't have any of these cooldowns at all, I'll just be running the opposite direction that they're chasing me in, um, as I'm killing the healer at the same time with deep freeze and counter spells and stuff like that, so, um, it, it's all about priorities, and when you figure out your priorities, who you want to kill first, how you want to CC the other target, what do you want to do to be able to utilize all your class's abilities um, to CC a target and then kill the other target, or CC multiple targets and kill one target, or honestly do nothing. Um, sometimes you'll see me just alter time and just like lay in a bunch of damage to a person and kill them before the game even starts, like the battle pretty much even starts. Uh, that's one way to go about it, is rotating defensive cooldowns, but mainly you want to look towards uh, CCing and then killing. Uh, because that's kind of how, I mean, that's kind of how Arena works, so that's just, I, I take, you know, what you know from Arena, and then I apply it by myself and BGs or, you know, any kind of 1v2 scenario, but let's go ahead and jump into a clip. So as you can see here, I'm running through to three Shaman, there's a Wrestle Shaman and two Enhancement Shamans. So I, I take out the Wrestle Shaman first, one, he has a little bit low health, so I decide that I want to kill him, I don't need to CC anyone besides... Um, just at least one of the shaman, as you can see, the Ring of Frost hits that guy again. I switch over to the first enhancement shaman that's not CC'd, and I kill his healing tide totem. I alter time and pop a counter spell on him so he can't purge it off, and then I take back um, after that alter time. I killed him pretty much instantly. I get a frost bomb off on this guy, which is 100,000, and then they're all pretty much dead within that time span. So, one more time, I'll run through that really quick for you. And again, what I do is I run up to these three guys, I know with, or I know with them all there. Um, and then I, I kill the rest of shaman first because of the priorities of who I want to kill first. Kill the rest of shaman, get him in a deep freeze so he can't heal himself. Um, I have a ring of frost over that pet and one other shaman, and then I go for the shaman that's not CC'd. Um, I alter time with all of my procs up to do a huge amount of damage. I pretty much kill the shaman instantly because he's counterspelled, he can't heal himself or pop any kind of totems. Um, I get another huge frost bomb off on this guy, and due to amount, the amount of procs I have, he pretty much just dies instantly. So that's three people down in like 20 seconds. Let me show you one more time in full speed without me talking over it, just so you guys can watch and absorb.
does sum it up for me today guys. I hope you did enjoy the quick tip. If you did, feel free to give me a like on this video. It does show a lot of support for me. As well as if you are interested in more questions, you can leave them down below in the comments. Um, and I will do my best to answer. Uh, but that does sum it up for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. And feel free to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Cartoons out. Oh, 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 oh